Hey everybody, so I know it's been a while. I said that I would film a vlog while we were on vacation and somehow we just ran out of time really quickly as that tends to happen when you're on vacation. We hadn't been home in almost a year and a half so we had a huge list of people to visit and people that wanted to see us and people that we wanted to see which involved quite a bit of travel by car and our days just seemed to fill up really really quickly so this is going to be my week 23 and 24 pregnancy vlog I'm actually 24 weeks and two days today so um, we had a great time visiting family we got a ton of stuff for the baby and it was so good to see everyone um, we actually got to meet some close friends of ours their daughter for the first time and we got to go to her first birthday party so that was really incredible and um, just really amazing for us to finally get to see some of these people that we've missed so much. Um, we ended up checking a bigger suitcase which wasn't full when we left and upon coming home it was jam packed full and we had to ship a box home so we acquired a lot of new stuff both for baby and then some books that a friend gave to us so as far as symptoms go over the last couple weeks, the most bothersome thing was that I had a lot of swelling in my ankles while we were traveling. And I think that there was a combination of factors that contributed to that. So one of them was elevation. At one point in the trip, we were up at almost 7,000 feet. And that makes you a little bit puffy no matter who you are, pregnant or not. So. Um, I did have some swelling, especially up at that elevation. Also, the traveling, um, sitting on a plane, you accumulate fluid in your ankles and feet. And dehydration. I don't think I drank near enough water while we were on this trip. The, the worst was on Monday when we flew home. And my ankle on my left side was, it was huge. It was a cankle. And since then, the swelling has gone almost completely down, and I'm feeling much better. I'm back to my normal habit of drinking the water that I'm supposed to and everything else. And obviously in the south, we're at a much lower elevation. And also, I've had a ton of baby movement in the last two weeks. I just seem to be noticing it a lot more. Baby's getting stronger, and you're starting to be able to see the movements from the outside, which is really incredible and my stomach gets kind of contorted in weird shapes depending on where the baby's laying at that certain time, which is amazing. And it feels amazing. I'm definitely enjoying it. It's just a nice reminder that the little guy or gal is in there. And I may have gained a little extra weight on the trip. Gunnar's aunt made some pretty delicious cupcakes, so I may have indulged a few more times than I should have. But they were so delicious. I just couldn't help myself. And something else that bothered me that's not exactly pregnancy related, but more climate is that we're in the south. And so obviously this is the time of year where things are heating up and becoming much more humid for us. And going from that to Montana, which is quite a bit colder and also a lot more dry, was kind of difficult for me. It's the first time I've really had an itchy belly at all which I just attributed to dry skin and also I had some nosebleeds, I had some sinus issues which I hadn't had this far at all in pregnancy really. So that was new but again I think that's more climate than anything else. And yesterday we actually had an ultrasound which was amazing, everything looked normal and healthy and we were able to get out of there without finding out the gender which was a lot harder to do than I thought it would be. Apparently that is not at all normal for where we are. We asked us two separate times if we wanted to find out the gender. They asked me when I checked in if I brought my paperwork because you have to sign a waiver saying that you want to know. And I said no, so they offered me the paperwork at that point. And then once I was checked in, we went to the waiting area and my ultrasound tech actually brought the paperwork out a second time. So. Luckily, my husband and I were both strong and we said no, that we still didn't want to find out the gender. But they seemed kind of shocked, like, <laughs> that we didn't want to know. 
so it was a I guess I rented the mill ultrasound I've never really had one before so I couldn't tell you it was about a half an hour and of course you have to drink all the water beforehand like the 20 ounces so I had to pee like crazy the whole time that um, they were giving me the ultrasound and at certain points she would press on my bladder and oh my goodness I thought it would never end but we did get a few pictures which I'm gonna share with you guys but everything looked normal, was measuring normal. Um, they said that based on the ultrasound that our baby weighed approximately one pound and one ounce. And I know that ultrasound estimates for weight can be really, really off. So I'm not gonna put a ton of stock into that, but it was just really reassuring to know that everything was okay and where it was supposed to be and just to see our baby. And it made me feel so much better about being pregnant so that was awesome and trying to think if there's anything else that I have to share with you guys right now it feels like it's been forever since I've done a vlog um, I guess I just have the pictures to share with you guys and then my belly shot and then also either tonight or tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a review on the prenatal vitamins that I ended up taking which I definitely feel are worth sharing and are of a really good quality so let me go ahead and show you guys the ultrasound pictures and my belly and I guess that'll be it for these two weeks and I'll see you guys again pretty shortly so here we go ultrasound pictures so that right there is the profile of our baby's face you can see the little nose and the lips um, which is really amazing and then here this is actually kind of a cool shot the baby had his hand up by his head so you can see the little arm and his hand and then the head it's not a very good there we go that's a little bit better focus and then there's the face again. So again, here is the nose and the mouth, and then the head. But I just thought that was so cool to see the baby. And then just to be able to see the movements on the screen while feeling them was awesome. So, I'll show you guys my belly really quick and we'll be done. So, here is with the shirt down. I've definitely been growing a ton. I can tell in the feel of my clothes for sure. And then they with the shirt up. Still no stretch marks or anything like that yet. And from the other side. So that's this week. Thanks so much, guys. I'll have a couple other videos up. Um, one on fetal positioning, which is really cool. And then another on those prenatal vitamins. So I will talk to you guys later next week. Bye.